Hi, Brendan here again with another episode of Strength and Fitness TV. And today I'm here with one of my more advanced athletes, Sophie Wood, who is training for 400 and 200 meter hurdles. Uh, I've been very fortunate to work with Sophie for a couple of years now. She, she's developed a lot, um, but uh, she's very, very dedicated to her training and, uh, and it's a pleasure to work with her. And today we're going to look at some of the stuff she's doing to support her her sprinting. I'm going to start with some hurdles and I've thrown some different scenarios at Sophie and the first one is she's going to stick those landings. A bit lower. And I do want her a bit lower and a little bit stiffer on those but we've kind of thrown these at Sophie literally today. She normally goes straight through. As you can see she's very very comfortable with the, with the reactive um, hurdle jumps. And this one is a bit more of a challenge, so we've, we've changed the hurdle distances, so she's got to go close then far then close then far, so it's kind of messing with her uh, neuromuscular system to figure that out, to close those gaps, it's not as easy as it, as it looks. And this one, we're introducing an offset hurdle, and she's going to go bouncing through the last one, so some interesting stuff there. And then we're going to move into the power, sort of speed strength type stuff that we've been doing. Uh, and we're starting with just hang snatches today. And I'm going to, I'd like to take this opportunity to show some of the, the supersets that we're doing in the gym from a, a kind of all round strength power development. Um, so, in terms of technique, she's got really good speed through the hips. Ideally, she'd struggle a little bit more and jump a bit more vertically with it. She's jumping a bit forward there, which I. I, I'm queuing her for, um, but what more importantly is we're looking for that kind of real velocity on the bar, which she does get nicely. And then we're super setting the hang snatch with just a reactive cone hop, um, and lovely. You can hear me underneath talking about the tapping that she's making. Really nice sound, really good kind of punchy contact on the floor good stiffness and Sophie's actually got the, the the record in the gym for our reactive jumping test she's she's extremely extremely reactive and, and elastic all right excuse the music in the background now we're going to move into one one of her strength supersets so Sophie's doing a front squat with a pause at the bottom to kill a bit of that stretch reflex so she's got to produce force explosively to get out of that position um, and then she's going into the chin up rack and banging out some, some chins and she's, she's knackered after those squats but um, <clears throat> the, the key with the squat is that you, you stay down in that bottom position you don't always have to do that but it's a variation that we're working on in this session um, to uh, to really work on that rate of force development out the bottom, and then we're we're super setting that with with um, chins, and that's one of my preferred supersets in the strength portion of the session. I, I do like to go from front squats to, to chins. It seems to work pretty well, and then she gets a little bit of rest, and then this next superset for strength is classic barbell okay. bench press um, essentially just a pressing movement in general so you could use dumbbell bench press you could use incline bench depending on the the um, season the time of the season or the, the, the muscles you want to stress or just introduce some variation and then we're supersetting that with stiff leg deadlifts so we're going front squats and chins and then we're going to go, oh we have done um, bench press with stiff leg deadlifts. Really working in that eccentric hamstring strength, pushing the hips back and upwards ideally. So we're really, oh that's the cue anyway, to push the hips back and up and that really helps to keep the stretch and focus on the hamstring. And last, last few exercises we're doing in this session really this is a, a, a really good stability coordination balance exercise overhead dumbbell split squats the idea is you take pretty heavy dumbbell and 
it really stresses that balance and stability in, in this position. So it's uh, it's it's none of this kind of sitting on you know the floor doing um, you know glute bridges that sort of stuff. They're, they're they're okay. They have their own. They have their place. But when it comes to kind of higher load core training, if you want, then uh, this is a this is a nice movement. Um, and this is some of the stuff that I'll be showing in my core training considerations workshop coming up in uh, in May. I think it's May the 18th. Um, so Sophie's got that load coming from left hand to uh, right through uh, to the opposite hip, and the stability in that required is is, is pretty pretty intense. So, and then we're supersetting that with a classic postural hold, supine hold or the, the abdominal hold, whichever you want to call it. Um, basic, basic core exercise. And uh, I'm not going to dwell on this too long because it's uh, there's not a lot that changes. But it's a, it's a tough movement. And then finally, we're going into rock backs, Swiss ball rock backs. Now what I'd want with this is, I would want Sophie to get more range, uh, get a get a forehead or chin even to the floor and really push through those shoulders and we need to do some mobility work we need to improve that movement pattern for Sophie um, and get those glutes tight and get that that back nice and uh, solid um, but it but it's a great exercise and it certainly identifies any areas of mobility and uh, and sort of cap um, competence that you do need to work on thanks for watching guys strength and fitness TV coming at you See you again.